Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm. I'm Christy. I'm RJ. And we're your hosts. This is update 138, right? Yep, 138. And it's June what? 5th. 2017. How come it's not June 2nd? How come it's not Saturday? Don't lose it. Explain to me about it. Because we've had a lot of stuff going on here at the farm. Yup. Not all of it's good, is it? No. Alright, let's start within the barn stalls. The snake, wildcat, will and the break in. Yep. Cavayu, star. How many horses bucked this week? Three, two. And, and, yeah. Okay, so that's just a rundown. You want the details? Here we go. All right. So Precious bucked and kicked RJ in the ankle. He's limping. Right? Uh -huh. Okay. It's good over here and act like you like me. Sorry, it's evening time. She'll take my food, guys. I will not. I'm on bottled water. This is like my third or fourth of these. Um, okay, so Precious kicked you. Storm bucked at the rodeo, correct? Mm -hmm. Um, Golden Boy, the horse that you were taking down to a gentleman to try, bucked and carried on the whole time we were down there. What else? Who else? Star hadn't bucked. Nope, Star. What? What's up with Star? I saddled her and ponied her around. She's got a back cinch and a front cinch on, and she yep. is ready to be what? Mounted. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, when's that going to happen? Hopefully tomorrow. Okay, we're going to take her and try it tomorrow, so um, that'll be in next week's podcast. Okay. Then, all right, just to finish up the horse stuff, I got my paperwork one year ago. This month, I adopted Kavayu, and I have to get this little form filled out by my extension agent showing that um, we have treated him humanely, he's still alive, and that his tattoo and stuff match on here, send it back, and then I will get title to him. So I will actually have his permanent paperwork, and he will be forever mine. Um, so I'm working on that. I've got to call into the extension agent. And I'm hoping he'll call me back tomorrow. We'll see though, huh? Yeah. Um. All right. Is that all on the horses? No. What did Ice do? He's been acting like a stud here lately, so. So Ice is going to Kevin's tomorrow, correct? Mm -hmm. For a, a short prelude. Open that curtain. Let me see if some of that breeze will come through here. I know it might ruin the. Yeah, it's gonna make it a little bright. But I'm sorry, it is hot in here. Okay, um, I've been out mowing all day too. That's the style here. I even changed my shirt because my shirt was hanging on me because it's so humid outside. Um, all right. Anything else as far as the horses? Ice is going to get correction tomorrow, um, because he doesn't respect me, and we don't have a round pin, and I had to run him around a stall, and I'm too heavy set to be running in this heat. Um, it took me how long? Two hours, hour and a half, I think, um, to get him caught and get him in the barn. And, yeah, it was a mess. Um, he kept running straight at the pole um, pipe fence, and he acted like he was going to take it down. So, um, I got him caught. took an hour and a half, I think, or so, right at two hours. Um, I put him in the barn. Where did you find him when you got home? In the barn. Hot and sweaty and tied in the barn. <laughs> so, it happens. It is what it is. Um, he needs a little bit. Right now, he doesn't have any respect for me. Um, so, we're going to take him to Kevin. And Kevin is a man, has different hormones. Um, so, yeah. We're going to get that done, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Anything else with the horses? No. All right. So, who was your buddy in the chicken coop yesterday morning? We had a snake in the hen house. We had a snake, a big snake in the hen house. Now, I've been chasing this snake all weekend. 
Um, and it actually started, I think, Thursday, but I wasn't sure I saw a snake. Um, and there was no eggs in the hay barn where they normally lay their nests. So I had, I thought I saw them, wasn't sure. Um, then Saturday, I know I saw him, and he was out basking in the sun. And I tried to get him, and he slid his way. He just a, was. He was a good size. I mean, he could. He was big enough to swallow an egg whole. So, um, yeah. How'd that help for us? Not very good. Yeah. So the hens have kind of quit laying a little bit. I guess I would too if I had a, a snake in there. Now, what's the other thing? There was something taking the baby chicks. We're down two more baby chicks. Um, there's like 10 left. So, what took them? We think the snake might have or a stray cat. The seen. snake could have, but I don't think so because they were outside the chicken coop. And the other night when I was out there, there's a gray tabby cat that is just going crazy after everything. So, um, yeah, he's feral. So, Either that or he's the neighbors. Either way, I can't have him killing things. So the chicks are back in the barn, correct? Uh -huh. Okay. And then, of course, what happened with shearing? Because we, well, we'll tell that here in, in the yarn farm, right? Uh -huh. All right. So what did Will and Camille, and what was our big drama today? They broke it, into the, the barn. The last week, it's always been something all, every day, just that. So what was today's that? They broke into the barn. Yep. We have three, possibly a fourth, but I don't think she got in there. I, I just swear I saw her. Now, that doesn't mean that Will didn't come in and push her out of the side and she ate half of it. But um, three of the goats and Will, one of the sheep, ate approximately how much, we think? Half a barrel of feed. Yeah. So they're on founder watch. I mean, if they keep pooping. Mm -hmm. Right? It'll. Yep. Now, the good thing is, is that it's grains, right? We don't have anything like there's no mineral to overdose them on anything. There's no anything. It's cracked corn, oats, and soybean meal. Mm -hmm. um, so, we're hoping that they can just digest it on through, but we won't know anything for what, 48 hours? Should not even 24. So by tomorrow night, we'll know. Um, poor little Camilla. We had to talk to her. Um, when I went out, Will, and I didn't even see Sienna until I went to try and get Camilla out. Um, we used big 33-gallon leaf trash cans with the lids on them. And they had knocked all the lids off of the tubs. And the gate hadn't been put up. My husband was through there, and he didn't put the two gates up. So, of course, one is normally a safety. Um, they got through the first one and just went right into the second one because he didn't close it up either. Um, so they got the barrel dumped over. And Camilla, I could see her upside down underneath. Will, how much does Will weigh? 150 pounds. Easy. Um, at this point, and as much as he ate, I'd probably say closer to 175, 180. He's a big wither, about three years old. And um, I could see Camilla under her, and I could see um, Cat Baloo eating at the bags. Cat Baloo was physically safe. She just didn't need to be eating there, but the, she had to eat through the bags to get to anything, so I thought she's the least of my worries. Um, I had to get Camille out from underneath Will, and she had literally all four feet up, and she was flopping on her back. So I went to pull Will out, and of course he's huge. He did not want to give. And I look, and Sienna is under him, smashed flat. So I scream for Lee. I don't know. I made myself hoarse, and he's like, well, I never heard you. And it echoes out here, does it not? Mm -hmm. So I don't know what the deal was. But I physically had to grab Will around the chest and pick him up and tip the barrel up with my knee to get him like, out of it. He's heavy. I, I'll tell you, my shoulders hurt, my neck hurts, and tomorrow I may not, I'm not be walking around like this. I don't know. Because um, I didn't lift with my knees. I lift with my back. I just, I didn't have time to think about it. So I got Camilla out, and what is her 
deal, son. She has a broke horn. The horn that we cast is now, like, gone. It's a pretty jagged break, isn't it? Yeah. So, um, gnats were flying, getting on it, and, and if they lay fly eggs on it, we're in trouble. So we went out there and we screw worm sprayed it like, her whole head is blue. <laughs> Um, Sienna, once I got her out, she popped up like she was okay. Um, I, I don't know. I mean, Will could have physically hurt her. I, I don't know. But I got them all out. Um, and then, of course, Leisha, what's going on? Yeah. So, that was fun tonight. Um, yesterday morning, we were dealing with a snake. The night before that was the stray cat. Um, just stupid stuff. Absolutely stupid stuff, correct? Mm -hmm. And the horses are just acting crazy. I, I really don't know why. They just are. We quit some of the staples. You know, staples. Well, these staples don't fit. No, those are for my my um, big one. They don't even fit these. Oh. <laughs> anyway, he's using my for my staple gun, trying to put him in a stapler. Doesn't work. Okay. Oh, excuse me. I'm so sorry. All right, we stop. What's next? Mending fences. What have we had to fix? What have we worked on this week? Um, Dirt torpedo. Yeah, more of the horses. Um, Dirt. He tore up a gate big time, didn't he? Yep. Metal pipe gate. Will you stop? Um, and now it's got a panel across there, huh? Now yep. we took him out of it. So, all right. Anything else? Mm. No. I don't think so. What's next? I did clean out the shop, right? Yeah. All right, in the yarn farm, um, you've been sharing, but what happened? Well, I shared that along, and I'm rolling through here. I'm going like this and that, and, and my things go ping, and then my blades quit moving. So I turn them off, turn them back on. No, turn them off, turn them back on. Nothing. Motor's running, but the blades aren't. No more. So, take the blades off. It kind of sort of works. Doesn't work really. It kind of flips and then it waits a second and then it catches and it doesn't. So, go in the house. Tear them all apart. Literally. Took it piece by piece apart. Because the last place I looked is where the broke part was. And I broke the gear. And I'm going to spin. It connects to some more gears that runs the blades. So I got online and I ordered the part. It's like thirty dollars for one, one little, little gear. gear. <laughs> it's like one little gear, but we gotta have it. So thirty dollars for a thirty tooth gear. Yep, dollar a tooth, right? Mm -hmm. it, it actually was twenty eight ninety five plus, and it was like three dollars and something shipping and handling. So mm -hmm. all right, so. Where are we on shearing? We've got how many left to go? I'm going to say three. On the back. Okay. And we're just waiting for that and thing. Maybe. We're going to, once we get it in, we're taking the day and we're finishing, aren't we? Because mm -hmm. they need to get done. Mm -hmm. All right. Anything else? We cleaned up the shop. Did that. Uh, the intern started. Yes, we have two interns. The kitten. Oh, yeah, we forgot about that too, didn't we? They're in March house. Yep. Okay, back up. Three one. <laughs> okay. Back in the barn stalls, we got two little kittens. Why do we have two kittens? Because you can't just have one. <laughs> That's what we were told by a six year old. Um, they need a friend, is what she said. Um, our horseshoer, we're always trying to do stuff with him, huh? Mm -hmm. His cat had kittens. That, that's Miss Buttercup, and she's mad, and she's already had her dinner, and I'm not letting her out again. Um, so she's mad, because we're getting ready to go to bed. 
Um, we literally just have chores to do, showers to take, and we're off to bed. Um, so anyway, we had traded some chickens. He's now got some pigs. He's got two pigs and he's going to use our feeder. So, I mean, he's been our friend for like 25 years, you know. Um, but his cat had kittens and we were up there. RJ was roping up there with him and his son. And Jackie made dinner. Just brats and, and burgers, you know, and, and some chips. And um, the girls were playing. And the littlest one, she didn't want anybody taking her kittens. But the biggest one's like, uh, no, we have too many. You need to take some. And I said, well, I'll just take one. She says, you can't just take one. It'll be lonely. You have to take two. It needs a friend. So we took two. I don't know if they're girls or boys. We just call them yin and yang. Ying has white on, her, on its face, and yang is more tabby. It's like they're both gray and white. But anyway, so, yeah. All right, fast forward to, what are we at? In the sure. house? Oh, no, okay. So, back to, this is such a messed up podcast. Back to in the yarn farm, right? I think we're done. I really think we are. Um, Buttercup wants attention. That's enough. If we turn on the TV, she shuts up. I have no idea why. Um, but she's in her kennel. She's eaten. She's had her day out. She even played with visitors today. So she's just spoiled. All right. So in the farmhouse, what's been going on in the farmhouse, dude? I don't know. Really? Growing pains. Yeah. But not ours. What did mom learn this week? I don't know. Yes, you do. You just don't want to say it on camera. I'll let her tell you. Dad does not support any of the farm. Period. Um, he used to just say, I'll support you, you know, whatever makes you happy, blah, blah, blah. And now, he doesn't. Um, so, we've actually talked about changes to the farm. Correct? Yeah. We've talked about shutting the farm down. Um, the big thing is that you can't have the straw family farm without the straw family. And I'm not the family. And if the farm was, what, half this size? Yeah. I could probably handle it on my own. But it's not. And I can't. You own full-size sheep, correct? Yes. Okay. And so does the straw family farm. Can I handle those full-size sheep by myself? No. But I can handle my miniatures. Yes. Yeah. My little South Down Kitty Crosses, um, I can handle those by myself, right? Yep. Um, and the only other things that I have are the milk goats, which I totally can handle those, and then my pig, right? Mm -hmm. So I can handle everything I've got. Um, the big thing is, is that Lee just, number one, he suffers from a form of depression and he won't take his medication, will he? No. And he says, it just makes me groggy. I, I can't think. And then when we're fussing at him, he says, well, I just can't think. So there's no difference whether he's on the medicine or off the medicine. He says he can't think. I, I think he just, that's his answer to everything. But the truth is he's off his medication. He won't go back on it. He's gotten really ugly here as of late. And pretty much doesn't support anything anyone does, correct? Sure. And I cannot do it. Two Mustangs are mine too, correct? Yep. So I told him that I would just go build me a tiny house with my animals and let him have it. Well, that made him mad um, because he didn't want any of this. So, just... I don't know. We, we really don't know, do we? No. He is just off his medication, and it's hard. Um, and he doesn't think he needs his medication. And he's 52 years old, 
and I'm not going to raise a 52 year old. At 52 years old, he should know when he needs his medication, correct? Should. Yeah. So, um, yeah, we did a lot of talking, a lot of soul searching. A lot of yelling. And that's the thing is, around the house, I've had to go to griping and everyone to get everything done. That's not me. If you know me, you know I laugh at everything. I'm tired of being the gripey one. I'm tired of having to gripe about everything and scream and yell, you know, hey guys, we have to do this right now. Shearing isn't done because, what did you tell me? I don't like yarn. Mm -hmm. So why do we have sheep? You know? But then you ask him, you want to get rid of your Shetlands then? No, not really. Not really. <laughs> he doesn't want to share them, but he doesn't want to get rid of them either. It, it's catch-22. But here's the thing. is If we want to have the fun stuff, we have to do the things that we don't like. Um, and it is what it is, correct? Mm -hmm. But what's not helping is I don't like who I'm becoming because I have to constantly gripe. Um, and I just, I don't like it. I don't like it. Do you like it when I gripe? No. But what did you tell me? I'm just too darn nice? No. Didn't you tell me that when I, it'd be easier if I was gripe? If you gripe. So if I was mean. That's what it was. Yeah, it'd be easier if you were mean. Well, I don't want to be mean. That's not the person I am. So, anyway, just growing pains. Dad's off his medication. RJ is struggling to balance his job and what he is supposed to be obligated here to pay his room and board. Correct? Mm -hmm and he's roping and he wants to stay here and he wants to mooch off of us and not do anything right yep he That's wants right. to stay. but can we do that no okay so he knows it he just doesn't like it he's got to sort it out for himself i can't sort it out for him but i am done griping i'm done being the gripey one um i am done fussing at everybody if they don't do what I ask them to do or what we need done, I will either find a way to do it myself or I'm going to go find some place that I can do it on my own because I've had enough. I'm done. Correct? Mm -hmm. We even had an event and they both deserted me. I ran the stargazing and firefly, fireflies and stargazing event by myself. So, and those are our events that we plan way out. I even moved it because you had a rodeo that weekend, correct, that you knew about. Yep. And he still went to a different rodeo. So it just it's growing pains. And I know everybody has to find their their niche. I don't like who I'm becoming as they find their niche. And dad figures out whether he needs his medicine or not. He needs it. He just he does this what? Once every two or three years? goes off his medicine, then goes back on it, and then he goes off it. It's just crazy. It's crazy, crazy. Um, and I've tried several times just to get him to start to get off the Mountain Dew, quit with the caffeine, and get on like a peppermint tea, and he won't do that either. So, um, he'd feel better, he'd be more energized, blah, blah, blah. I don't have to tell you guys what peppermint tea and natural tea does for you, but anyway. So, had a lot of growing pains. On the upside, though, on the porch, what have I been working on, son? Because I did literally, like, nothing for two days. I told him, I said, I quit. You guys want to do this? Fine. Here you go. Um, I got through the Friday night stargazing and fireflies. Mm -hmm. And then Saturday, pff, Sunday, what I do? Spun. I've been spinning. And let's see if I can show you because we're losing daylight. Are you turn on the overhead light? Yeah. All right. So, um, I had this one on the wheel, 
and it's blues and grays and greens. And then I spun this one. Oh, no. the up. Yep. That's enough. Hurry up, turn the light off. And then I spun this one, and it's dark reds and purples. This one is lighter reds and purples, and it has Angelina in it, so that it sparkles. And then I spun this one, and each one is probably 120 to 150 yards. So, um, I have not soaked them. Hey, hey, that's enough. You did it this time. I know. Oh, well. She's a pig. What does she say, right? So, we're coming to the end anyway, because that's on my on the porch. But anyway, I have spun, I don't know, quite a few yards, right? I just knocked my paper back on too. But, all right, so, anything else going on, son? How'd you do at your rodeos? I didn't do any good. Okay. So. How come? What happened? Missed uh -huh. one. Mr. Storm back yeah. through the other one. Coop missed her start on another one. Yep, no, it's too long on my own way. So. Yep. And then, oh, and what else did we do today? What did you go to the vet for? Get calling on the horses. Yep. So. Anything else? No. Are we sure? Yep. Oh, we went to the vet last week. What were you there for? Oh, sheep. you forgot. We had some sheep go to a new home too. Who all? Who all left? Uh, Jasmine, Aladdin, and Blossom went to. Down by Texas. Fort Worth, Dallas area. To Justin, Texas, and then we had a family come out and get what else? Hens, chickens. Yep. Yep, we set them up with a starter flock. They had built their first coop, and they took five laying hens, um, one rooster, and ten young hens, or ten young chicks, so that the kids could learn to handle them. So, like I said, a lot of things going on, just crazy, um, crazy stupid, things that should not be happening. I can't tell you how many horses have bucked and carried on. And that's not like Everyone them. Everyone I got on the day one to hump up and act stupid. Yep. And I don't know. It's just in the air, I guess. I guess, but my husband and son are acting that way too. It's in the air. It's in the water. That's why I'm drinking bottled water. <laughs> you don't like that. They're drinking like Kool-Aid and Gatorade made of regular water. I'm drinking bottled water, and maybe that is our problem because all those animals are on the water, city water, too. Why do you do that every time I do this? Why not? Because you always pop it off there, and I have to put it back on. It's not off yet. Mm -hmm. No, it's not, and we're done. So, all right, folks, kind of all over the place. I apologize. Um, sorry for the griping, but the one thing that we've always said is you'll know the ups and the downs. This week is probably... And you just keep swinging, you just keep swinging. <laughs> somebody actually told me that but uh, yeah I like I said if if this starts to fall apart because Lee can't won't doesn't want to do his medicine support whatever um, I actually already have a plan and it involves a tiny house smaller acreage and I will do exactly what I'm doing here huh Yep. So, um, it is what it is. But I think Lee's mad that I even have a plan, to be honest with you. But, hey. Well, like I said dark, this so. week, I'm done. So, are it's you getting dark, so we better get chores done. Yep. All you got to do is go feed. I've already filled the waters and everything's got hay. Um, I do have to go check those three, mm -hmm. possibly four that. Our mm. Do not grain them tonight. Mm. All right, we will see you next time. We're kind of put your face up here, son. Bye, guys. <laughs> Look, you're kind of creepy.
<laughs> See you later. What do you think you look like? I don't know. We're both pretty creepy.